राधाकुंडम गिरिवर महो राधिका माधवासन प्राप्त श्री गुरु कृपा सिंधु नमो महाबदन्नाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाजते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नमने गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदाल कृष्णा कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताय नमो तमपेतमेतृत्यम द्वैपायनो विरह का तरया जुहाव पुत्रे तन्मयतया तरवोने तम सर्वोतरीदयुस्वास्मी तवैवास्मी न जीवामी तया विना राधे नमस्ते again from the first canto first slow now you are entering tenth canto shrimad bhagavatam oh krishna is coming oh so krishna is coming and you will be don't weep don't weep krishna is coming and he will play with you He is searching, so don't don't be. Krishna is coming. At once Krishna will come. So be ready to see Krishna. How beautiful he is! Perhaps you know the past time of Krishna. How Krishna. to birth in mathura and how we was just changed in gopal how vasudev maharaj tried to set the she said devaki mother devaki is why so you know something about what i want that you should Help me in telling these stories, and I will tell some deep things. Who can narrate well? You. <laughs> you can tell. Which story? Which story? Which story? Which story? Uh, how Krishna came in the form of Devaki? What? Happened for what? What was the platform? Everything up to going to Gokul, and 
then I will tell some deep meanings and the teachings. I can do Gurudev, but I'm very embarrassed. <laughs> Stand up and... <laughs> you should come here. Huh? Not there, come in there. <laughs> You should laugh first, then. Vasudeva and Devaki were uh, in the jail of Kamsa uh, because uh, he heard the prophecy from the sky that is the eighth child of Devaki would kill Krishna. So the seventh child. Kamsa. Kamsa. <laughs> with kill Kamsa. So the seventh child was transferred to the womb of Rohini, and the eighth child, uh, when he appeared in the dungeon in the form of Vishnu, and then Vasudeva and Devaki offered their prayers, and Devaki finally asked that the Lord change himself into a small child so that she could try to protect him. Then by the Lord's mystic powers, the uh, gatekeepers went to sleep and the doors opened and Vasudev carried Krishna on his head. Vasudev. Vasudev. There is so Vasudev. Vasudev and Vasudev. Vasudev. Who is Vasudev? Vasudev. Vasudev Maharaj is the father of Vasudev. Vasudev means Krishna? Vasudev means? Yes. Vasudev. Vasudev is himself Krishna. Vasudev is Krishna. Vasudeva <laughs> himself was the father of Krishna. <laughs> so he carried uh, Krishna. <laughs> uh, towards Gokula. And then in the uh, in a basket. And it was raining and storming. And so in the middle of the Jamuna, he dropped Krishna. And so my understanding is that point, uh, uh, the mother Jamuna brought uh, Krishna of, Gok of Gokula out and uh, Vasudev of Mathura uh, disappeared. So then he carried and, trans and uh, transferred with the a uh, girl that was born of Yasoda, who was uh, Yoga Maya. And then she, he carried her back to Mathura, where uh, Kamsa found out about the baby and tried to kill her. Uh, and was unsuccessful because she fell out of her hand and went up in the sky and called Kamsa a fool. Uh, then the next day there was the wonderful birth ceremony of Sri Krishna. And all the inhabitants of Gokula were so much happy. And by your mercy, I was able to go and visit Gokula oh. and see these wonderful spots. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Anything more? You can tell? Anything more? You want me to tell more, Mara? <coughs> yes. Anything? He didn't do anything? No, I'll just... Stick with that story. <laughs> <laughs> you can give some more extra. Uh, right. <laughs> Here in ninth, up to ninth country, Parikshit Maharaj becomes so happy. An unhappy boy. <coughs> Up till now he has not heard the glories of Krishna. What he wanted, but he has heard the glories of so many devotees of Krishna. So he was satisfied, but not full satisfied. <coughs> in the ninth canto, in the last he told Krishna, asked <coughs> Sukadeva Goswami, 
I want to hear the glories of Krishna. How he became? He is the supreme personality of Godhead. But why he came in the home of Devaki? And why he went to Gokul and was just exchanged with the girl of Yasoda? What he did there? And again he returned to Mathura and again went to Varga. So I want to hear something from you. He becomes so pleased. And he remembered all these things, what Das Dev has seen in his Samadhi. How Krishna took birth, how he did in Gokul, and all pastimes of Krishna. He is overjoyed that he is going to tell me the pastimes of Krishna. <coughs> so he is telling in his slope. Nivrtatarshai rupagiyamana Baushadatsrotri manobhirama Kahuttam sloka gunanubhata Virajjet pinapashogna He is telling that. We have told the devotees, especially in the dynasty of Sun dynasty and Chandra dynasty, Moon dynasty. Hmm? And Jadu was so fortunate that in his dynasty Krishna came because he did not obey his father. His father was telling that you should give me your young age and take my old age. I want to test the young age with so many wives, children and my family. But now I am old, I cannot taste. He refused. Then he became angry and told that yourself and any boy, son or any one of your dynasty will never be a king. All this like common general person. He was so happy. Yes, I will admit, no harm. So Krishna saw that he will have to come here in this world for so many reasons to establish Yuga Dharma. What was the Yuga Dharma? Yada Yada Hi Dharma Sya Gnani Bhavati Bharata Abhyuttanam Adharma Sya Parishanaya Sadhunam, Inakaya Chadusha, Sadhana Thaya So I come to establish Yuga Dharma. And that Yuga was now going to be end. So many demons in the shape of kings, Kshatriya kings. Everywhere in the world where they were, and they were disturbing. So they were, they became so weight on for three days, burden, so much burden. Any weight cannot disturb Prithvi, Bhudevi, but only the sinful acts, sinful person, they become so much burden for. So. <coughs> this thing was. <coughs> Secondly, he wanted to Vinodaya Bhaktanam. Bhaktanam Vinodaya Shah. Why he wants to come to protect Sadhu and Vinashaya Pradushkitam? What is the meaning? Any bona fide devotee never calls Krishna or Supreme Personality of Godhead, or any man that I should be saved. Never. We don't want 
we don't fear our death. We are always ready to embrace death because I have been of uh, 76. So I know that I in this body I cannot do any shadhan, not so parchan and shadhan bhajan I cannot do. So if death is coming to give me new body, new energy, why I should not do it? So I should embrace. I am not fearing from anything. <coughs> what suffering, sorrows may come, but I know that it will never come. Like Nardrishi, he put his feet, grew, <coughs> kept his feet on the head of death. So Vaishnav never care for this. So why he should pray to Krishna that he should come and save me from death and all sufferings? Never. But he is eager to serve Krishna. He is feeling what separation. So much according to the degree of devotion, several kinds of bhakta, they are feeling separation for Krishna. So, to Vinodaya, to please all the bhaktas. So, to play with bhaktas and to taste dasaras, sakharas, vasanaras and maharas. This is Vinodaya. To, to be to play with all <coughs> especially he will play with his own associates. associates but by this they will distribute Krishna will distribute the whole pain to whole world so this was one thing and he wanted to test some rush also what rush especially that he has never tested this in Ramash. In the day of Brahma he has never come with gopis and gops and braja. So he will come here and test here and he will he will mean, apne ye chhod jayenge apne baad mein unki kathaon ko he will what <coughs> Krishna will go his all associates go, but yet here Harikatha will pass time will be here. Remain here. Eh? For thousand and lakhs years. And those who will hear, those who will tell, <coughs> all have, will have this <coughs> So Anugrahaya Bhaktanam Manushi Tan Marshitam to what? Anugrahaya. To give mercy. To give mercy. What mercy? What he will play with gops and gopi, Brajavasi, it will for here. And if anyone hear this, they will at once be should purify it and go to, they will go to Golok Vrindavan. Also, the places where he has played, if anyone go, like Radha Kund, Sham Kund, Banshi Bhatt, Bhandir Bhatt, Nandagaon, Varshana. Anywhere here Krishna has played this. Pastimes, anyone go and keep his head there and keep in the dust of not as sweet dust of gopis and gops and Krishna. <coughs> They'll be purified. And they will have easily <coughs> Krishna praying. <coughs> which is very rare for Brahma, Narad, Sukadeva and others. <coughs> so Parikshit Maharaj, <coughs> so Krishna wants to come, he is waiting for the time, actual time, for all these things. When Brahma with Prithvi, with Earth, in the shape of cow he went to Brahma and she was waiting. And then Brahma with Sankar and all other demigods, with cow who went to the cost to set the and he was remembering him. Brahma realized something, a vibration from the sky was coming 
and you have that. Don't be worried. I know everything. What you have told I know before. Don't worry very about it. My Prabhu has known this. My Prabhu means? Master. 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 My Lord. Who is telling? Garbhadashai. And who is his master? Krishna himself. So master has known all these things. And he has taken decision that I said go in Prathvi, Bolo, in Vrindavan, Mathura. And he has ordered that you should all, demi gods, should go and take birth in Yadav Kul. Dynasty of Yadav. And your, also your <coughs> wives, they should also go to Sarva Priya Arthe. Priya Arthe, Priya Arthe. <coughs> Very beautiful Sanskrit word. Priya Arthe means to Sarva Krishna. And Priya Arthe, Priya means Sarada, Priya, Priya to Sarva Srimati Radhika. Hmm? You should all go there and wait. I, myself with my power, energy, with Srimati Radhika, will appear there. Why? Krishna is thinking that once upon in Satya Yuga, Diti and Kashyap and Aditi, they did hard strategies. When Narayan came in front of him, then, and he told that what benediction you want, they told that <coughs> you should come like uh, anyone should come like you as a mission. I want that. A son should be me. I am like you, so much qualified. He told there is no one like me in this world, so I had to come. He promised. In the meantime, another factor. Drone and Dhara. Drone means <coughs> the king of mountains. Drone. Father of Himalayas. Hmm? With his wife, Dhara. This Prithvi Devi, Bhu Devi. They did hard story, more than Vasudeva and, and Diti and Kasya. After a long time, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he came and ask what you want, have any benediction. He told Dron that, please ask my wife <coughs> and what he will say, I'm happy to reply. Point. She told that, I want to love you as a son. This prayer should be given to me and my husband. Basalya pray for you. He did not want a son, but he wanted to serve Krishna like father and mother. Actually, this prayer, first topic of prayer she wanted. Yes, I will be there like your son. Now, so many regions. A start is of Don Dhara, a start is of Kashyap, Aditi, and the Dukdhar. <coughs> and in the meantime, Prithvi Devi, Bhu Devi, with Brahman and Shankar, they all went to Swet Deep and pray that you should come and save me from these demon kings. Also, he has to fulfill the wish of daughter of Bali Maharaj. Ratna. Who was she? Ratna? Ratna Mala. Ratna Mala. 
when Krishna came in the shape of Mamundev and he wanted to cheat Bali Maharaj. Very beautiful boy. Very beautiful. But his shape was so small. But very lovely and charming. When this boy went there, she saw the daughter of Bali Maharaj and she had a desire that, oh, I, I'd like that he should be my son. Bamundeva at once Krishna knew this and told her, yes, I will be your son. But when Krishna, uh, Bamundev began to take gradually earth, whole Brahmand, and he took him, Bali Maharaj himself kept his five um, foot on his head and took himself also. And he binded him and throw on the ground and he began to be. The, the daughter Ratnamala was upset. Oh, at first seeing his beauty, I was so much affectionate. So I thought that he should be my son. But now, <coughs> if he will come like my son, I will give him poison, very hard poison. And he will put to death. He accepted Bama, yes. I also, yes, sir, come like this, I will fulfill your desire. So there are so many reasons, not only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What reasons more? <coughs> Ramchandra went with Lakshman to Janakpuri, Mithila. And he married Sita Devi there. All the friend girls of Sita Devi wanted to marry Ramchandra. And they had a wish hidden in their heart that, oh, we want that Ram should be my husband. Yes, but not this time. In Dwarka, in Dwapar Yog, you will be like gopis and then I will fulfill your wish. To satisfy them to give them the rejection to God. And especially the Kotor Dandakar Kotor Rishi Shart, 60,000 Rishis were doing Aradhana to have Krishna in gopi mood that he should be your pati, husband. So they were doing, but like us, not regularly and not so, <coughs> but attached. Well, sometimes one round, sometimes two rounds, sometimes okay. nothing, like this, like laziness. But when they saw Ram, they became so much inspired. I think that when I was not here, uh, all were not so <coughs> and here all are now inspired. Some are dancing, doing kirtan and all things. I think properly chanting, hearing Harikatha daily. So <coughs> they become very enthusiastic. And they prayed Ramchandra that we want to be like gopis and serve you, because Tatpata, they are both one. Ramchandra told that, I have none of your heart. <coughs> in Dwapar Juk, in the last of Dwapar Juk, <coughs> I will be Krishna, and there you will be gopi, I will fulfill your all wishes. You know the history of Sita Devi. In the end of Ram Lila, Ram gave up Sita forever. Lakshman took him in forest and near the forest, near the ashram of Balmiki, he left and told that Ram has given you forever. He will not take you. She at once fell flat 
and began to weep so loudly. And Lakshman, in his faint stage, he left that place and he returned. So sadly, she covered. Weeping so much after that, Balmiki Rishi came there and told, Oh, my dear darling daughter, I know everything. Come with me in my ashram. And for remaining your life, you should be with me. I know that you have two sons in your home. There will be very pathetic scene. And in the end, you will beat with Ram. So, wait here in my yashram. She began to live there. In Oman's quarter, there were sort of two quarters. Female devotees, lady devotees and male devotees. <coughs> After some time, Lokus was burned, they took birth. And they were trained by Sita and Balmiki himself. He taught them Balmiki Ramayan. No? And Sita was there. <coughs> Ram was very much feeling separation for Sita Devi. He was in the palace. But he ate on what chatai mat on the floor. Mat on floor. He was like same as Sita was in forest, not taking anything like Sita. Sita has some sleep with his voice, but he has never sleep. Always lamenting and feeling separation so much. There was not no one to. Console him. Console him. But here, the two boys, two sons and Balmiki, they were helping her to be what? Consoled. 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 They were consoling him. So Ram was much more disturbed. He wanted to do a jagya, fire sacrifice, Aswami the jagya. And he was doing, but Balmiki, um, a sister told that you cannot do any sacrifice without Sita. You can marry another lady. He told that I will never. Then Ramchandra told that I will have to do. So anyhow you should tell how to do. He told that you can bring Sita from forest. Or it is absurd. Make anything else. He told that you should establish a Swarna Sita, golden Sita. And with her, you should do sacrifice. He did it, and he did Pran Pratishtha himself with the help of her sister. If Ramchandra is doing himself Pran Pratishtha with the help of her sister, so high class of priest. Sita Devi became alive. Huh? She became present. Yes. Actually, this was not now a Vigraha only, but she was like that Sita. When once Lakshman um, Law and Kush went to the fire sacrifice of Ramchandra and they were singing so very beautiful way, they were very beautiful like Ram. Not less than Ram, but now they were a child of eight and nine, so beautiful more, and so sweet voice. And with Bina, no? they were singing Bhagavad Gita. All were moved. Even Ram began to weep. Lakshman began to weep. Kaushalya Devinna. All, all the monkeys, Harman, Subri, all were to weep. Varsa Prabhuna also, Kai Kai also. <coughs> Ramchandra ordered Lakshman that go to that voice and tell <coughs> who are they? Who is the father and mother of these two boys? And give them so much golden things. Golden 
coins and everything. And so silk and cloth made of gold sometimes. Royal dress like. Then Lakshman went <coughs> to the boys and told that, oh boys, what is the name of your father and mother? Locus told very politely. We knew that you are a very learned person. You know all Ved Upanishad and everything. But your question is not good. Anyone should not ask the caste, the name of father, mother of any Brahmachari. They can only ask, who is your Guru Dev? The designation is only Guru Dev. So don't also ask the name and father and mother's name, caste name, from where you are coming. These are silly questions, <laughs> bogus questions. But we ask like this, anyone ask, oh, your father is now alive, where? Where you took birth? Don't dance on me. Don't disturb them. So he flatly told him, that why you are asking like this? You are a very learned person. He becomes ashamed. Then he <coughs> told that, what the, they told that we are the disciple of Balmiki. And they believe he is my Gurudev and we have learned everything from him. Then he told that Ramchandra, the king, emperor of this place, he wants to give you something. And he presented it in a golden pot. So many coins, full of, so good, Rishmi, Vastra and everything. And when he was presenting to them, they told simply, we need nothing. We are simply Brahmishari. We don't want gold and all these things. What we do? Everything, all kinds of fruit are there. We have hands to take water, water and anything. We take only fruits there. There is plenty of fruits there. Everybody is going on, Ganges. We know nothing. We take, we have, don't need cloths. Only we take the cloths made by the leaves of plantain tree. Balkal Bastra. Nothing we want. Then he became so wonderful. How beautiful these boys are and how strong in philosophy, their philosophy. They return. they return to their mother in the Balmiki Ashram and told, what told? She was weeping and waiting eagerly for their two sons. Today was some late. She, she came, she came, uh, he saw Love and Kush and told Ramesh, my <laughs> sit down. And then she told my dear boys, he took one boy here, one boy here. And like this. I was waiting so eagerly for you. It became dead. Why became dead? They told, Mother, we are gone to a king. Court, uh, court, courtyard, courtyard, concept, and we were singing there, Balmiki Raman, and the king himself, the mother of kings, the brother, and whole council was waiting. And we saw a very wonderful thing, mother, there. Mm -hmm. So it became there. what? There was a statue of gold. Golden statue. We were wondered that that is so she was like totally like you. You are speaking and that was not speaking, only this was the difference. <laughs> but same like this. Hearing this, Sita began to be bitter. 
They astonished that why my mother is now weeping to hear this. Sita was thinking. Ram had not left me, but he is free. I am always with him because he has taken my this statue with him. So he cannot plan <coughs> there. Ram is also loving still to me, but I cannot meet him. And he felt so suppressed and began to weep bitterly. Then law and course with one hand they began to, uh, to wash the white But they were not um, imagining also that why my mother is so weeping. So when Ram was going to despair his pastimes, Sita, Shan Sita, not only Sita one, but each year he used to do every year, every year. and new new Sita were established. So all Sita told that what will be of will have to be always with you. He told that yes, but when I will be Krishna in Dwapadhyu, you all be Gopi, and I will um, fulfill your all desires. So for, for all reasons, Krishna was waiting that when a time will come that I will go to this world. And so many reasons. I cannot Surpanakha was also that cause. cause. Surpanakha has told that I have given my heart to you, to Ramchandra. I want to marry you. Ramchandra told that I am married, you should go to my younger brother. Younger brother told that you want to be queen or servant. He told I want to be queen. So why you are marrying me? I am only a servant and if you are marrying me, I will marry you but you will be dashi. Why you don't want not to be a king? Queen? So go to Ram and try to marry him. Again she went to Ram. Ram again sent to Lakshman. Lakshman again sent to Lakshman. And thus this, she was discharged and he wanted to take Sita in his mouth and to solve. When he went to Sita to catch, Ram shot towards Lakshman and don't make any joke with any lady. Be very grave. Otherwise they will come to your head and they will make a stool here. <laughs> and you will be finished. Don't joke. <coughs> so, he took a short sword. sword and he took up his face. <coughs> she became happy and at once went to the ground. Why Rami did it? Because she had told that I have given my heart to you. I want to marry you. Ram is Banchakal Pataru. Banchakal Pataru, you know? He must accept him, her. So he accepted. But it will take time to do like that. So he made, made ugly that anyone should not love her. Because now she is ugly. And in the next birth, she became Kubja. That anyone can marry and don't, anyone cannot love her. And then Krishna will come and he will make her beautiful. beautiful, so much beautiful, and then she will marry Krishna. Or she will be loved by him. And Krishna will fulfill his desire. Those his love and affection was not qualified, bona fide, or third class bogus. Only Tinjua, not like Gopis and Dwarkawa. Mahishi. But yet, Krishna cannot deny. Anyone who goes to Krishna, he will not deny. If anyone is getting his heart, one pence, a fraction of dollar, then he will give fraction of his devotion to them. 
ये जथांगमाम प्रपद्यंते ताम तथाइ वो भजाम में हम यू नो दिस इस लो एनी डिवोटी ए फ्रैक्शन ही इज गिविंग समथिंग ही विल गिव इन फ्रैक्शन दोस विल गिव हो कृष्ण विल गो गिव हिज रो he will go to only hall to go in not anyone mother karna shat by whole senses and whole body and mind and everything only go is <coughs> so to fulfill the desire of surpana kahi was to come Oh, don't! Otherwise, two, three, four days will be. So many Tell the causes of why Krishna came. So many causes. But I have touched them. So Krishna was born to come. But when he will come? When Brahma with cows, prayed on this bank of sweat, be. Oh, yes, I am coming soon. He. He not, he did not reply. Who replied? Garbhodha Sai. My master has no, because he was the master of Brahma. Hmm? So Harsha Sisha Vishnu. Garbhodha Sai coming from the. So he prayed to him. Brahma has nothing to with her supreme personality of Godhead Krishna, Nanda Nanda. Hmm? Only he can reach to up to that. <coughs> Then he. But what does I thought? I cannot do all these things. So he prayed to his master, O oh, Krishna himself. Krishna told that, tell <coughs> Brahma that they should be ready. I am coming, just very soon. Then you know the history of Sushant. Time came, last of Dwapa Jyot. There was a king Sushain in the dynasty of Jadu. He has two wives. One, Chhatriyani, and other, milkmaid. Uh, milkmaid. From the dynasty of Gopi, Nand Baba, Parjanna, the father of Nand Baba, and Nand Baba king. This is also Jadu branch. And also second came from Parjanna, uh, Ajamir, then Sushain, and then Vasudev, and from Vasudev Krishna came. So Krishna came in two ways. In the midnight, he came in the shape of Chaturbhuj Narayan from Devi and Vasudev, and he fulfilled the desire of. Diti and Kashyap and Aditi, huh? and at the same moment in the midnight, Krishna came in the form of Jashoda, and from there two children came. One came himself, supreme personality of Godhead, huh? and after some time, half an hour or fifteen minutes, a God came. That is Yoga Maya. In Shrimad Bhagavat, it has not written in the beginning all these things. Like Swami Ji has told all these things. But after that, sometimes he disclosed all these matters. Understand? Disclose. Why he was? Telling that he took birth in Mathura Malli from the womb of Devaki, there was some reason. This reason was that Parichit Maharaj was son of Abhimanyu. Abhimanyu, the son of Arjun, and also came in the womb of womb of Subhadra, the sister of Krishna. Also, Kunti was the brother, sister of Vasudev Maharaj. Vasudev Maharaj, no? And she was married to Pandu. And from Pandu, and Kunti Arjun was there. And from Arjun, Abhimanyu. And from Abhimanyu, Parichit Maharaj. No? So, 
he was related to Dwarkadish Krishna and Pandavas. So he has an ego, ego that I am in the dynasty of Pandavas and from the dynasty sister of Krishna, Vasudev. So he wanted to please Parikshit Maharaj that Krishna has come your, in your dynasty. Very near relation he was showing. To make some attachment with Krishna. And that knowing that if I will tell like this, he will be more happy, more happy. <laughs> that Krishna has come in our dynasty. And partly it is true. True. Here we will have to see that no difference in Godness. Tattva. Krishna Tattva. Krishna, Ram, Balaram, all the manifestations are same up to Mahavishnu. Garbhodasai, Khirodasai. All are same. Tattva, Narayan, everyone. But by Rash, Rash, you know, Rashen Utkrashyate Krishna, Rukmesa Rashasthiti. By Rash, when we will discuss about Rash, then Krishna is short and is supreme. Nishin cannot be further. No? He cannot be. Ram, partly Aswarja and partly Madhur. He has so many friends, so many servants, like Hanuman. But no one is friend of Madhur Bhav. No? He has so many friends. He has servants like Hanuman, but Hanuman cannot embrace Ram. He cannot give his remnants to Ram. When Ram is with Sita in the palace, there Hanuman cannot go. Anyone cannot go. Lakshman, Bharat, Satsugna, also the king of Nishad Raj, Subriva, and Bibishan were friends of Ram. But always like servant, not like friend. Anyone cannot sit on the shoulder of Ram. They cannot they give their eminence. They cannot fight with Ram. They cannot defeat. They cannot imagine all these things. But Sridham Shubal, how they are? They can defeat Krishna. They can get remnants taking out from here. They are taking very dangerous thing, anything. And they will take this and they will give in the mouth of Krishna. <coughs> they will play with Krishna and tell them, Oh, I want that you should be my horse. <laughs> yes, very good. <laughs> and he will be horse and Sridham will ride, ride over his seat. Seat. And he will tell that, Dul, dul. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, why you are not running so much? My horse is not so good. <laughs> this, any friends of Ram can you do this? Hmm? Only half asal is there. If there is Madhurash, Shwakiya Madhurash, he may tell that Sita, I am giving up you for whole life. But in Dwarka, he cannot do like this. But he can control. If he were not obeying uh, me. Eh? No. If he was not want to hear the glories of gopis and gops of Braja, I'll get out of my kingdom. At once. I've married you only for gopis. And I'm telling the glories of gopis, you are becoming some Jealous. upset. So if you are being upset, at once I will take you from my palace. And the rest control began. Like here in <laughs> And in gopis, if Krishna will, cannot tell them. If Krishna will tell anything, they will tell that you should at once go far from our groups. At once, we don't see, want to see any black. 
even black colored sari hmm? like hair like bees bamboo bees we don't want to see any black thing black are internally black and all outwardly black i know you are very liar cheater we don't to have any relation with your god and then krishna will tell oh i have done wrong <laughs> 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 so by this rush krishna being the super personality of god is but here he is controlled by yashoda yes hmm? sir okay. oh don't come to me i will never take you in my life and then he become everything mother mother i want you and to gopis taking pardon and everything so by this way in krishna is everything shant dash shakha varsalya madhu even hasya karuna raudra bhayana divas 12 varshas ram only half two and half narayan two and half in krishna dwarka dish only three and not four three four no madhur rash half no vasalya rash there only half not half yet not like jasoda and nand baba there vasal is very mixed with appulence that is as what it it cannot control krishna those who are reading chaitanya same way which one hour so very beautiful things so krishna is more superior in rasa and shakti ram has karun rash karun means yes, yes. but krishna has all and in supreme supreme yes, yes. basalaras more than devaki basudev dasrath kaushilya or any one so the past times of krishna all supreme. so krishna is supreme past not the of all day so there is also difference between Jashodanandan and Devakinandan. In the last of Sri Mad Bhagavati, it has been told. But Devaki Janma Bhado, what is low? Jati Janani Vaso, Devaki Janma Bhado, Jadu Bar Bar Sab Sai Dhar Bhija Shan Na Dharman, Thir Char Bhiji Danga, Sushmat Shi Mukhe Na Praj Puro Banita Naam. Really, Krishna is the son of. Jashoda, I have to. He is telling. Who should be Gosvami to Parikshit Maharaj? Those who tell that he is son of Vasudeva Devaki, it is partly true. So those who like Mathura and those who like Brijbarsi, Gopi, Vrindavan, they will never admit that he is partly son of Devaki and Vasudeva. Only for lower caste class of devotees, it is there to make them gradually develop and to know all these very deep things. So we will have to tell that Krishna took birth in Mathura, and he took his son to go. For whom? For Akru, to Satish Sai Parikshe, those who are. Dwarka Dhis associates to satisfy, but if he will tell this in Banda Band, they will what they will do? They will flip slides. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he will tell him to Jasoda Mehdi, then he will take your this like this. <laughs> <laughs> if he will tell any Gopis and Madhu Mangal, <coughs> Sudam, Shubal, Nand Baba, then what they will do? Either they will cry, and they will tell the oh lad. <laughs> so, for all these reasons, Krishna came, and there is supremacy of the son of Jashoda. He Krishna Karuna Sindhu, Dina Bandhu Jagatpati, Gopesh Gopika Kanta, Radha Kanta Namaste. And the last Radha Kanta Namaste. <laughs> First beginning from Krishna from Mathura, son of Devaki. Hey Krishna, 
ही इज करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपति हु देव की नंदन बट आफ्टर दैट गोपेश नॉट यशोदा गोप ईश हु इज यशोदा नंदन नंद नंदन गोपेश मोर बार गोपी का कांत मोर बार कौन राधा कांत ही सेटिस्फाइड सो ग्रेजुअली यू कम टू दिस सिद्धांत इफ एनी वन आस्क यू एनी क्वेश्चन दे कैन एनी क्वेश्चन आफ्टर क्लास गौर प्रमाणे
Richard. One more. Stand up, please. Oh, Madhukar Brahmachari. Friend of Krishna, Buddham friend of Krishna, Madhukar. Nityananda, where is Nityananda? He's rehearsing for a play. Oh, same name, Nityananda Das. Maharani. Manju Lata, one of the best Sakhil of Srimati Madhuri, who Madhuri? Shamla Dutta. Madhuri. Madhuri Dutta. Very good. Golan Prasad. Gauranga. What's name? Gaushundar. Gaushundar. Very good name. Gaushundar. Now you can begin. Um, don't scoot back. <laughs> I hit this one, sorry. It's okay, I didn't really hurt it. Oh, it's kind of good. Oh, it's so good. O Saki Radhe, Vrindavan is more glorious than heaven, Vaikuntha, even more glorious than Ayodhya in the Dwapapuri, because it has been graced with the footprints of the Devaki Sutta. Only in this Vrindavan are the peacocks dancing in rhythm to the flute melody of Govinda. Hearing the sound of the flute and seeing the peacocks dancing, all of the birds, animals, and other living entities have become stone. In his commentary on this verse, Sanatana Goswami says that Krishna played Mirdu Mandra on the flute. When rain clouds begin to gather, the sky at once becomes dark, and very softly and slowly thunder comes. When the clouds clash violently, it produces loud thunder and lightning also. But first they produce a very soft and deep thunder, that is called mandra. Krishna produces a similar sound in his flute, but with mirdu, sweetness. The nature of the peacock is such that when it sees the sky darkening and hears thunder, it begins to dance madly. When Krishna entered the forest, what did he see? Giriraj Govardhan, resplendent with creepers, blooming flowers, and ripe fruits. The breeze was blowing very gently, seemingly unable to carry the full weight of the flowers of favors. Seeing the natural splendor of Vrindavan, desire for pleasure arose in Krishna, and he began to play his flute very softly. Hearing the deep vibration, the peacocks approached and began making their kika sound. They saw that Krishna appears like a dark rain cloud. The peacocks circled around Krishna and began dancing with great bow to the flute room. One peacock began to think, Oh, Krishna is playing such a beautiful melody. Dancing to that, we peacocks are experiencing great ananda. I wish I had something to offer him. I have no valuable ornaments. I am simply an animal. But my feathers are valuable. Nothing in this world can compare to their beauty. Maybe I can offer one to him. And thus he left behind one of his animals. Seeing the feather, Krishna thought, Oh, this peacock is so loving. He has fully appreciated my foot play and has offered me one of his valued feathers. Krishna lifted the feather and placed it on his head and thought, 
This defines the food. Is dear to dear to me. This feather has now become dear to me as well. While walking, resting, dreaming, standing or sitting, I will never abandon it. Wherever I may go and grudge, I will never abandon the flute or this peacock. The peacock song. Oh, I have left this feather for him. But he didn't merely put it in his pocket. He has placed it on his head, the most valuable of all his bodily parts. Today, my love has become completely successful. This is the origin of the peacock feather and how it became Krishna's most celebrated ornament. If someone offers something with praying, and it is also accepted with praying, then both parties become the tasters Exalted of devotees, he appeared in a Muslim family. Although the most exalted of devotees, he appeared in a Muslim family to instruct all that devotion to Krishna is not dependent upon guna or karma. Love for Krishna is inherent in all beings, and the process of chanting is available for all, regardless of external circumstances. During the time of this pastime, the Muslims were ruling Bengal and resented that one of their own had taken to the ways of the Hindus. It was in this context, in the town of Pulia, that our drama takes place. Haridas Thakur was absorbed in chanting the holy name. Everywhere he went, people were impressed with his saintly quality. Throughout the area, he was becoming famous and respected. The growing love of the people for Haridas Thakur enraged the local Muslim ruler, the Kazi. Now, this man, Haridas, is becoming too popular with the people. He has rejected his high birth as a Muslim and has become a Hindu. He wanders around obsessed with his foolish chanting. And the people trust him. I want his activity stopped immediately. Centuries. Go find this Haridas and arrest him. In due course, I will want him brought before me. Go. <coughs> there he is! Haridas, on the orders of the Kazi, I am placing you under arrest. You can do your chanting in prison. Come with us. As you wish. Here or anywhere. I will always chant my lungs. Yeah, you're around. 
volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> I am so much pleased to see such genuine devotion. I give you my most heartfelt blessing. My blessing is that you will always remain as you are. <laughs> Please do not be dejected. My blessing was that you will always remain as you are, but I could never wish you any misfortune. I simply desire that the love you have in your hearts for Krishna will always continue. I do not wish for you to be prisoners forever. Soon you will be released, trust me. And when released, as now, always chant the holy names of the Lord and remember his divine pastimes. In this way, develop a distaste for material life and always be happy in love for Krishna. Prisoner Haida, the Nawa wishes to see you. <laughs> now, Ab, here is the prisoner Hari Da. This is not some ordinary prisoner. There is a glow in the my dear Haridas, I have heard much about you, but I'm confused, and I must inquire for you. What kind of mentality has overcome you? You have the blessing of a Muslim birth. Why do you reject your higher birth and take to the waste of the world class English? How do you expect to achieve salvation? I've decided to punish you according to the laws of the Quran and thus free you from your sins. My dear sir, there is only one God for all living entities. The difference between the Muslim God and the Hindu God is a name only. According to every scripture, God is one. And he resides in everyone's heart. He is always controlling every living entity, and every living entity is moved by his will. If another living entity hates or envies another person, it actually reflects on his feelings towards the Lord. My dear respected sir, please consider what I have to say seriously. And then, if you still find me guilty, then you may punish me. Almost everyone present was sincerely moved by the presence and sincere words of Haridas Thakur. But his wisdom could not penetrate the heart of the Kazi, who turned to the Nawab and instructed. Punish this man. He is evil and mischievous. He will influence others to become sinful like himself. If he wishes to be excused, then let him preach for the poor man. My dear friend, please speak from your own scripture. Then you'll have nothing to fear. Otherwise, the cause you will force me to punish you will be reviled and insulted. Please let us avoid this. Everything God wants will happen. There is no way to stop that. It's Are <laughs> just a mere instrument of the Lord's desire. Even if my body is cut into pieces and I lose my own life, I will never give up the chanting of the holy name of the Lord. <laughs> Places until he dies. There is no other proper judgment. If he lives despite this, then we'll know that our big scholar has spoken the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Kazi's envious designs had fructified in the heart of the Nala. <laughs> Haridas was dragged from one marketplace to the next and to the next. They beat him mercilessly, their black hearts consumed by hate for this pure devotee. But Haridas was a pure soul, completely surrendered to the Lord. So he faithfully chanted Lord Krishna's name. So absorbed was Haridas Thakur in this fervent chanting that he felt no pain. His only concern was compassion for the centuries, despite their piteous lashing of Srila Haridas Thakur. Oh Krishna, please forgive these poor fallen souls. Do not punish them because of me. Don't ask for mercy. We'll do our duty to the end. We have a number of marketplaces left. <laughs> Which one will you die in, my friend? <laughs> Finally, they arrived at the 22nd marketplace. How can a human being survive such a brutal beating? Any ordinary man would have died after two or three beatings. We've lashed him continuously throughout 22 marketplaces, but still, he shows no signs of pain or death. Occasionally, he even smiles at us. He <laughs> <laughs> must be a saintly person. Oh, Hari Das, because of you, we shall certainly be punished. When the Kazi sees we have failed to kill you, he'll kill us instead. If my survival brings you such terrible misfortune, then I will definitely give up my body. Just see me die. Hare Krishna. Haridas immediately fell into a trance. Being a pure devotee, he possessed all mystic power, but he fell lifeless, not a trace of breath. Oh, our lives have been spared. Let us take his body to Nawa. Sentries picked up Haridas's body and carried him to the Ganga. Haridas remained in deathly trance, meditating on the Supreme Personality of God. The spirit of Lord Krishna then descended into the body of Haridas. He had already drowned in an ocean of love for Lord Krishna and had no perception of the world around him or where he was. Eventually, Haridas floated downstream on the currents of the Ganga. After some time, he became conscious of the grace of Lord Krishna. Fully awoke, awakened and overwhelmed with ecstasy, he climbed the bank of the Ganga and proceeded towards Puliya, loudly chanting the holy name of Krishna as he walked. When the Muslims saw him, they became convinced of his extraordinary mystic powers. Their envy and hate were removed, and they began to worship him as a saintly person. The Nawab, having been informed of Haridasa's mystic powers, soon came to see him and appeared before him. Haridas stopped chanting and smiled compassionately at the Muslim ruler, who stood respectfully with folded hands and began to speak in a humble voice. I can now understand you are truly a sensitive person. You are seeing the one supreme war everywhere and in everything. I have come to beg forgiveness for this offense I have committed. You are free men in every respect. Please forgive those of us who have committed 
this great offense. I do not take any offense. As I have said before, every living entity moves by the will of Krishna. Please chant the holy names of the Lord and, and remember his pastimes. And in this way, always be happy for love of Krishna. Yeah. Everyone, whether elevated or wretched, forgets about mundane life when he sees the lotus feet of Srila Haridash Thakur. The Muslims had wanted to kill him but were transformed and worshipped his feet, accepting him as a holy man. After forgiving and blessing them, Haridash proceeded toward Puliya, with the holy name resounding from his lips. O oh, devotees of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the glories of Haridas Thakur are unlimited and unfathomable. By remembering his pastimes, especially the terrible suffering at the hands of the Muslims, one can be delivered and blessed with the benediction of progressing on the path of love for Krishna. Haridas Thakur did not have to accept the punishment at the hands of the Muslims, but he did so to show all people, in all times, in all circumstances, that whatever suffering may come our way, one should always chant the holy name of Lord Krishna. Namacharanju Srila Haridas Thakur Ki
How so early you can? How? <laughs> Long distance? <laughs> Gurdiv is Arctic. What will be after three days? <laughs> Today Gopinath is not coming? He's, he's outside waiting. Oh, waiting? Yeah. <laughs> 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 